Welcome to Sports Time. I'm your host, Matthew Vargas, and today we are joined by our very special guests over at the South Hawk water polo team. Hello, uh, my name is Obed Johnson, and I am a senior starting right back. Uh, my name is Aiden Elizondo. I'm a junior, and I'm a starting left flat. Uh, I'm Roman Zamora. I'm a junior, and I'm starting left wing. Uh, my name is Lucia de Jesus. I'm a junior, and I'm starting point guard. Hi, my name is Sophia Williams. I'm captain of the water polo team. I'm a senior, and I play point guard. Hi, my name is Brianna Robinson. I'm a senior. I play starting backline defender, and I'm also captain of the team. Hi, I'm Isabel Ludrick. I'm a senior, and I'm starting wing. Hi, my name is Eliana Wayne Scott. I'm a junior, and I play goalie. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Now, can you guys tell us a little more about water polo and how it works? Yeah, of course. Uh, so a case basically consists of two teams of six, right? They're on opposite ends of the pool, and they're accompanied by a goal and a goalkeeper. An objective is to carry a ball that looks very similar to volleyball, right? And you just swim it across to the other end, and you try to put in an opponent's goal. Sounds like a very tough sport. How did you guys all get into water polo, and how long have you been playing? Uh, I got into water polo my freshman year. It originally started as an off-season sport from swimming, and slowly it just turned into something I really enjoy and I love. So I've been playing for four years. Uh, the same thing as Bree here. I started my freshman year as something to do besides swimming, but it just turned into something that I do um, as a full sport, and this is my third year playing. So I've been playing water polo since my freshman year, and I kind of got forced to play goalie, but I really like it now, and it's like my favorite thing to do, but I've been playing for three years. Uh, I started when I was a sophomore because I saw my sister play, and I was kind of intrigued, and I, I wanted to give it a try, and it turns out I actually really liked it. That's great. Now, starting off with the girls' team, how is the season going so far? Our season's been amazing so far, and we have our playoff game Friday, so hopefully that goes wonderful. So far this season, we are by district champs, co-district champs, and hopefully area champs. That's amazing. Moving on to the boys. Uh, yeah, we had a pretty rough start, but um, through thick and thin, I feel like we managed to place third in our district, which is pretty amazing of itself. And we also qualify for playoffs. We are by district champs as well. And we're hoping that we may win our third round of playoffs and second round as well. That's extremely impressive. Now, what would you say are some of the key factors for your success? I think one of the key factors to our success is we have really good teamwork and communication because we're all really good friends in and out of the water. Yeah, and I think the same thing goes for the boys. Like, we really get along in and out of the water, and, and whenever, we're, whenever it's like game time, we have really good teamwork, and we end up managing to get the win. That's amazing. Fine. Now, what do you think has been your biggest challenge for the year overall? For us, it definitely was playing against Harlingen High and PSJ Bears. They gave us a run for our money, but we managed to pull the win on them. So. Very cool. Now, is there anything you guys are looking forward to? Um, we're looking forward to seeing how far we make it in our water polo playoffs. And then afterwards, we have swim season following districts and regionals for swimming. Uh, I'm really looking forward to improving for next year's season. Um, I think there's a lot more that I could learn and improve on. That's perfect. Now, is there anyone watching that you would like to thank or just tell to the audience? Yeah, of course. Shout out to my coach. I'm going to be honest. I've known him since uh, my 7th grade, 7th grade, I believe, yeah. And uh, ever since then, I'm going to tell you something, he is an amazing coach. Like, he speaks right from the heart. Uh, every time we're like treated unfairly, he literally straight up just speaks out for us. And I feel like personally, everything I've gone through, I think I pushed myself hardest because of him. So I'm pretty much thankful for him. Wow. We're really thankful for all of the parents that come to support us and our friends and everybody that's there for us throughout the season and comes to our games. We're also thankful for our uh, co our co coach Jerry. Shout out to Coach Jerry. Shout out to Coach Jerry. <laughs> Hate your workouts, but I love you. <laughs> Perfect. Now, thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, I'm Matthew Vargas, and this has been South Hawk News. Yeah! yeah! Woo! We did it! Now it works. Now it works.